in this episode. We're going to wrap a bunch of grass bales. Try and get all our straw bales off the field before they get soaked. And once the rain finally stops, we'll be able to get back to work on the canola contracts. And if we're lucky, maybe teach these workers how to drive. Hello and welcome back. Uh, if you remember from our last episode, we are working on two contracts. Uh, one on this field and then the one over on another field. And we'll look at those real quick. In the case of both of these, um, we're been pretty far on one of them in field one, but the field 12, which is the one I'm at right now, we haven't gotten very far because we did just start it. Um, but the headlands are done and we're starting the up and down rows, which is good. So once this rain clears up, we will continue on with both of those. Um, and they do have to be done by the end of July. But I think we have plenty of time for that. But while it's raining, um, so we really can't do anything there. I am going to get this and put it away. And then I'm going to hop in the, um, the John Deere and get these grass bells wrapped just because I uh, don't want them getting too wet. And I also, if I can, I'm also gonna try and get all the straw bells off the field and into our shed as well. Because again, don't want those getting too wet. Um, so, rain, I mean, love rain, but sometimes it can be a little annoying. But we'll uh, we'll kind of use it to get some stuff done around the farm. Get a little break from the harvesting contracts. So it, it will all work out. All right, I will park this uh, right here for now. And let's hop in here and get started on the wrapping.
All right, and we are. This is the last bell. Yeah, that is awesome. So I'll take this up here and drop it off when it's done, and then I'm gonna grab the bell trailer and get all the straw bells loaded up. Um, fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine with leaving the uh, grass, uh, the sausage bells now out there uh, on the field because um, they're wrapped. <laughs> so the rain's not going to bother them at all. Um, the major theme was getting them wrapped so that that would be the case. Let's uh, put this away. Just realized I've got my stuff out of order. Oh well. <laughs> it should be uh, Ted. The tether should be here. Then the beller. Then the wrapper. Were at the very end there where the beller is, but. That's okay. All right. Let's grab the Chevy. And get these bells. That's all the straw. Come on, come on. I believe it is. Come on, come on. Uh. And I think after we get this dropped off, I'm gonna head over to field one. Um I'm not sure how empty that harvester is. I know the one over here on this contract is empty. I'm not sure if I emptied my own harvester that I'm using on the other contract. So we'll head over there and check that out after we drop the straw off here. It feels like love. Yeah. Hopefully I can avoid driving into my neighbor's crop. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back once I get over there to field one. A little crazy for you now. A little crazy for you now, baby. I'm a little, a little, a little. A little crazy for you now. A little crazy for you now. A little crazy for you now, baby. I'm All right, it looks like it does need to be unloaded. So we'll just uh, 
back up here and grab the trailer and unload it. I mean, I like rain and all that and we need it. It's just this was not the best time for rain. Um, now we're trying to harvest. It's great when, you know, it's rain time or, you know, when crops are growing, need to be water, but during the harvest time, we really need dry weather for that. Okay, let's uh, see how much is in there. Don't think it, it wasn't very full, so it shouldn't be too much, but. It's enough to where I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, run it over to the sale point or the delivery point. Looks like cars are uh, having an issue with the road. That's uh, it's a little funny. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there, but looks like they're dancing. Or I, I, yeah, I don't know. Something going on there. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to take this over, get it delivered to the uh, delivery point. So we'll time lapse that drive and hopefully soon the rain's going to stop so we can get back to harvesting. But we'll see. The one downside with uh, having two contracts that are both the same crop type and both having the same delivery point is that one of them um, is pretty much getting <laughs> all the crops from both fields <laughs> and I think in the last episode <laughs> the field one was getting all of it and now it looks like it's uh, field 12 so yeah it's not ideal to do it that way but I think in the you know then result does it it'll work out both fields will get everything it's just A little confusing. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, so uh, we'll time lapse the drive back over there. I'll drop the trailer off and then head back to the farm. And uh, if it hasn't stopped raining by then, I think what we might do is go ahead and collect the silage bells. But so I will see you when we get there.
All right, so it's still raining. Um, trying to think here. <laughs> Whoops. And thinking and driving is probably, I guess, I guess I, can, I guess I'm not able to do that. And oh, I missed the bell. <laughs> okay, let's go drop this one off. The Lone Bell. Actually, I think the best way to do this is reload the stack. In fact, straighten out here. Okay, now we go put the, the bell trailer away. Uh, ooh, that's what I can do while I'm waiting for the rain to clear up. I am going to put this away without hitting the wall. I'm not sure why this has been such a struggle putting this trailer away. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. So because uh once the rain stops, I'm gonna need to be able to drive around and I think it's a getting ready to stop here in a second. What I'm going to do is hop in the Ford. Oh. And Set my destination. They'll figure it out. Oh, look at that. The rain stops. <laughs> of course. Well, it still works out. It will be a little bit before uh, the harvesters are full, so. It will give me time to start the belling of the straw, um, which is belling that straw on both these contracts is pretty much the whole reason I'm doing them. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're not paying horrible, neither one of them are, but they're just, I mean, they're not like big money makers. But the straw, on the other hand, uh, that's one of the things I talked to both of, them, both the owners of this land about is uh, if I bell it, can I keep the straw? And neither one of them had any use for the straw, so they're like, oh yeah, no problem. So works for me because I need a lot of straw for the because uh, it turns out my uh, straw accessories and everything that I'm making at the store are very popular which is good <laughs> that means 
I'm making money. But it's just, I thought it was odd. But hey, not complaining. But yeah. All right. Uh, so this will take a little bit to get over there. So uh, we'll do a time lapse on the drive. And um, once I get this up and running, I will uh, get the get my harvester up and running on that contracted field and then we'll kind of see where we're at at that time so i will be back at that point So I have that going and, and I realized that I didn't do straw on the headlands, but you know what, I'm just going to let it go and forget because I need it to go for a while because it's going to move a lot faster than the harvester is and yeah, so. I know the harvester is like over halfway done with this field, but I could see it catching up pretty fast. And I'm not sure why I grabbed, oh yeah. I was like, why did I grab the trailer? Because it's gonna be in the way of the straw baler. So let's see, let's get this going. All right. Philip has that taken care of. Sarah's in the other one. All right, so I think what I do is I'll park this right here for now. And then We'll head over to the other field and empty that harvester because by the time we get there, it'll be right around 80 to 85%. Well, okay, probably closer to like 85 to 90%. So, perfect timing. Helps if you get in the right vehicle. <laughs> uh. You know, I uh, mentioned this in the last episode, but um, this field here actually is the next like piece of land I want to get once we uh, get our uh, loan squared away. Um, Because, yeah, I, t I see a lot of potential in here. Like the, uh, the section over here, kind of what I'm planning on doing with that is um, put like a kind of turn into like a dairy farm in that section over there. Well, not, not, not just a dairy farm, I guess, but I want to get cows and some sheep. And, you know, start making some dairy products and, you know, use the uh, wool to eventually also make some products over there as well. I may, if, depending, I should probably get underneath the auger. <laughs> Stop talking and focus. <laughs> But yeah, so probably what I'll do is, you know, convert that section to a grass field and then as m money allows, um, 
get like a sheep farm and a cow. I kind of want to do two cow f farms or uh, uh, builds, buildings, I guess. <laughs> pastures. That's the word I'm looking for. Two cow pastures. One, uh, one for using for beef stock and one for using for uh, dairy cows. Um, they both have advantages and both can make a lot of money. Beef stock actually can make a ton of money. They have just one drawback. You gotta wait like two years <laughs> to make the you know, your best profit on them. But when you do, I remember when I looked at one time at it. I think it's like if you have like 50 to 60, you know, cows you sell at a time, grow them for about 20 months, 24 months. You're looking like 150 grand profit, which is pretty big. Um, well, minus the food, so probably like a hundred grand profit, still big. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then the other thing I want to do is um, build an actual house, probably along that area down there and kind of build like our main farm out along there as well so i'll probably put the main farm on the other side of the house closer to that road over there and then house and then yeah kind of tied all into this area here but yeah that's kind of the big plan so we'll see how long that takes though <laughs> whoops Well, actually, let's turn that off. It's not my tractor, but still. I'm sure the owner would appreciate if I just didn't leave it running for, you know, a couple hours for no reason. But, all right, well, let's go empty Phillips Harvester. So I want to keep him moving. Not too worried about Sarah. Um, although it is a very large field, we actually already are making very good progress on it. So um, not too worried about that. Now, Philip, on the other hand, um, because I do have the baler over there working. I want to keep him moving at all cost. Let's see here. Oh, good. He's going to move. <laughs> it's a little worried about that. Is he just going to sit there or actually move, which is good. Generally, I try to keep most of the weight in the back. Um, I know it's not a huge thing in game, but it's more I ideal in real life. Because it helps the, uh, you know, with, with the lifting angles and the weight and where it is and all that, it's better. Uh, let's see. Took 68% of this trailer? Holy crap. Was it not empty? Oh. Yeah, it was empty. 
I may need to get a bigger trailer at some point. Because ideally, I would want to be able to get two unloads in a trailer, at least. Two and some change, preferably. <laughs> Uh, let's see, so Sarah needs to be unloaded again. We'll just drive across this field because it's been harvested. What I'm going to do is, whoa, I'll just park right around here. And that way, when I'm done unloading, I can move the tractor a little bit closer to where we're currently working, because, yeah. I need a trailer like this. I wonder how much they run. Oh, brakes. do is I'm going to go up to this trailer and then come back and empty the other trailer then go over and unload Philip. I think yeah so we'll uh, time lapse this part and I will see you I'll be back once that's all done so yeah afraid of that. Ay, 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 ay.
Oh, luckily this will only happen once. Alright. Um, let's go. Oops. Hey, I made it all back here before uh, the harvester was empty. What? Okay. Go. Oh, whatever. <laughs> All right, uh, let's park this over here and then go empty Sarah's harvester. Alright, so I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode here and we'll continue on in the next one and see how far we get. Um, I mean, we did have some delays from the rain in this one, but not much you can do about that, but so yeah. Uh, yeah, well, thank you for uh, joining us on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and also uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think or if you have any feedback or ideas. Um, always look for those and they help out a lot. Uh, also, be sure to, to uh, subscribe. And if you want to get notified of future episodes, go ahead and hit that bell. And again, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Yeah, I'm all done.